business leaders, whom we look forward to engaging with later this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya and the United Kingdom have a long history of friendship in speech, in government, in finance, in outlook, and in all our interests, we still show the influence of our strong history. Because of this, our priorities ought to be clear. We all wish to prosper together, so let us also do business together. We have democracy in common, and we need to defend it together. And as for our common enemies, such as terrorism, we need to fight them together. As government, we have held meetings with the Prime Minister and her delegation. And as I said later today, we will be meeting business leaders from both sides at a business forum. Prime Minister, the bond of friendship and cooperation between our two countries has been deepened today with the signing of a number of agreements. One is a security compact that has led to increased support from Britain with equipment to enhance border and aviation security, capacity building and information sharing between our two countries. The second is the framework on the return of assets from proceeds of corruption and crimes in Kenya. Some of you here may already be aware that we signed a similar agreement with Switzerland and we are now glad that the UK is also fully on board. This is because fighting corruption is an important aspect of my own legacy program, together with the unity of the country and the attainment of our big four centered around investment in housing, manufacturing, security, uh, food security, and universal health. Depriving people, therefore, of the proceeds of their crimes is one major detriment against this vice and we are determined to make it painfully unrewarding and expensive to get involved in corruption in Kenya. As I have said, in this fora and others, there is no turning back in Kenya on this agenda. We have also had the opportunity to discuss other matters of bilateral interest, including market access to the United Kingdom for Kenya after Brexit, and we welcome the Prime Minister's assurances that the current duty-free quota for Kenyan exports will continue after Brexit. We also discussed around the UK and broader Commonwealth issues, and we indicated that Kenya will be pressing for an increase in exports on the basis of a fair market arrangement with a view of a mutual win-win arrangements within the Commonwealth. We also agreed to continue cooperation in security matters and in the war against terrorism. And as you know, this is an area where both the United Kingdom and ourselves have worked closely on. And as a result, we have seen a diminishing of terrorist threats in our region that still remains vulnerable. We also welcome the United Kingdom's commitment to support, to support AMISOM. And we call on other members of the international community to also support this important mission at the vanguard of security in our region. Ladies and gentlemen, let me also speak on our shared commitment to grow opportunities for our young people from both our countries. And in Kenya, we have committed to increasing opportunities with our vocational training colleges, and we have asked the United Kingdom for support in, in ensuring that this remains a success. With a huge youthful population, our focus has to be ensuring that our youth remain to be a dividend for our country. Lastly, I take this opportunity to also encourage British investors to look at the opportunities with our Big Four program. They are indeed immense, and considering the returns from markets such as ours, any investment here is guaranteed to benefit both the investors and ourselves. These opportunities are also there within our blue economy, and we have also agreed on how the United Kingdom can support our Blue Economy Conference in November this, this year. But let me say that these will include issues around landing facilities for deep sea fishing, shipbuilding facilities, fish processing, packaging facilities in various parts of our country. <clears throat> so once again, Prime Minister, let me thank you for uh, 
taking time to visit us in Kenya, and we look forward to continuing to strengthen our relationship and partnership between our two countries. Welcome, Prime Minister, and once again, it's happy to have you with us.